And Katagiri Roshi, a wonderful Zen teacher who died recently in this country, a friend of mine visited him shortly before he died and uh, took with them a, a, a person who asked him if he could tell her the essence of Zen practice, the kind of question you ask a Zen master when they're dying. And he picked up the cup that was next to his bed and he kind of tossed it down on the table and he said, you can do things like this or he picked it up off the table again and held it in his two hands and placed it down really beautifully and with care. He said, or you can do them like that. And that was his teaching. This kind of listening, this kind of respect, is the ground for the healing that we all search for in our life. From Don Juan, he says, Look at every path closely and deliberately. Try it as many times as you think necessary. And then ask yourself and yourself alone one question. My benefactor told me about it once when I was young and my blood was too vigorous to understand it. But now I understand it. I will tell you what it is. Does this path have a heart? If it does, it is good. If it doesn't, it is of no use. So this is the kind of respect or tension that we begin with to heal in our life. And as we do, as we pay attention and listen with respect to our breath, to our walking, to our eating, we discover that the healing of spiritual life follows the four foundations of mindfulness that the Buddha spoke of, the four areas of mindfulness of the body, of feelings in the heart, of the mind, and then of the process of life or nature, the laws, the dharma. Whether you're a new or an old student at this retreat, we begin to sit And you can sense yourself reconnecting with the body. There's a settling down process that happens in the first day. I'm sure you mostly could feel it. The breath starts to get a little quieter. Sometimes it gets very soft. And you have to bring a careful and soft, respectful kind of attention to feel, subtle attention, to feel that little bit of movement of the life breath in the body how to bring that attention to a place where you're sensing it without trying to manipulate or control it too much, just letting it be soft and listening more carefully. And then you see as you feel the breath and the mind goes away that what you're asked to do really is to come back over and over. It's not just to sense the breath, but to come back a thousand times or a hundred thousand times. You wander away and bring your heart and your mind back again. Here we are, the next moment, the next breath. The image traditionally is of training a puppy. This little puppy runs around, you put it down, stay. Does it listen? We all know the answer to that. Gets up, runs around, makes a mess. Clean it up a little bit, bring it back, stay again, over and over again. You don't want to beat the puppy. It's not a lot of fun for the puppy, and I don't think you enjoy it very much either but it's recognizing that we've gone away and discovering that we can come back and reconnect with the body again and again.